Hey guys, and welcome back to the Santa's Bricks. My name is Jevin, and now over the last couple of years, I've made many different Lego creations, and I have uploaded them to this YouTube channel. Now, a lot of these builds have used Lego power functions. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to incorporate LEGO power functions into your builds. So let's get building. So to start off the list of our LEGO power functions, we have probably the most important piece, the battery packs. Now these pieces here are what supply the power for all of our LEGO power functions. Now these two battery packs have some slight differences. This smaller battery pack is really good if you're building with bricks and it's a very small space. Then this big battery pack is really good for if you're working with Technic elements or if you need a lot of power for your power functions. Since this battery pack is smaller, it doesn't have the same power supply as this bigger one does. So to turn this smaller one on, you just press the green button on the top. Then for the big battery pack, you can either switch it to the right or to the left. Either way, doesn't matter. So next we're going to move on to one of the power functions that has probably the most uses, the Lego motor. So the way how this works is you simply plug it in to a battery box using this cord, and then if you turn on the power, the motor will start spinning. So here you can see the motor is spinning clockwise, but if I flip this little orange switch on the battery box, it will reverse direction and go counterclockwise. Now the same thing can be said for this larger battery box. If I flip this orange switch to the other side, it will reverse the direction of the motor. Now one of the easiest ways to use a Lego motor is for something that spins or rotates. But you can also use a Lego motor to make something go side to side, and I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So here you can see I have our motor hooked up to a gear, which then is hooked up to this black piece here. Now that black piece has little teeth, just like this piece here, which then hook into that gear. So when I turn our motor on, it will spin the gear, which will then move this piece from side to side, like so. So moving on to our next part, we have the lights. And the way how these work is you take this cord, plug it into a battery box, then when you turn the battery on, these LEDs at the end will light up. Just like so. Now the end of these lights actually fit perfectly into these Technic holes here. And on the other end of those Technic holes, you can then put a translucent stud of any color, giving the light a different tint. So if I turn this on here, you can see this light here is white, where this one is bluish. So now moving on to our next power function, we come to the switch. Now you may notice that in this orange piece right here, a Technic axle can fit in the top of it to move the switch, but it can also fit in the side of it and then rotate it to flip the switch. So now we're going to hook this switch up to this motor and battery box. So first we're going to plug the switch to the battery box, then we will take our motor and plug it into this side of the switch, just like so. so now if we turn the battery box on, you notice that the motor doesn't actually go. That's because when this switch is in the middle position, the circuit is off. But if we tilt it either forward or backward, it will open the circuit, turning it on. So now we come to our final power function, the receiver. Now in order to use this receiver, you're going to need one of these two remote controls. So here you can see I have my receiver, and we're going to put this down on this base plate right there. 
So the first thing we're going to want to do is take the cord from the receiver and attach it to the battery box. Now you notice that there are two ports on the end of this receiver. Now the red port hooks up to the red controller on this remote control and the blue one hooks up to the blue controller on the remote control. So if we want to be able to control this motor here with the red lever, we will connect this cord into the red spot, just like so. So now if we turn on the battery box, you'll notice, again, nothing happens. Now in order for this motor to spin, a few things have to be just right. First, you'll notice on the back of this receiver, there's an orange slider. Now this has four different positions, one, two, three, and four. Now notice that on the remote control, it also has a slider with four positions. As you can see, this slider is at position number four, and this slider is at position number four. This means that when we push on the red lever, our motor should spin. However, if these two orange levers are at the wrong spot, then it will not run. For example, if I move this slider up to say two, and I try to make the motor go, nothing happens. It'll only work when these are at the same spot. And so, there we have all of our LEGO power functions. Alright guys, and so that is our LEGO Brick Tip video all about LEGO power functions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click subscribe right down there.